My name is Andrea Giaccari and I am presenting this uh, multi-center uh, study performed in Italy uh, comparing the physician-managed and patient-managed insulin titration, in particular in with Glargin U300. Uh, why we needed to do a study in Italy? This is because uh, our, uh, let's say, guidelines usually uh, state that we don't have to use sulfonuria anymore when we start uh, uh, insulin. Actually, we should not use sulfonuria anymore in general, but especially when we start insulin. There is no specific trial uh, doing comparing the patient physi and physician managed titrations without sulfonuria. So uh, we designed and performed this study named uh, uh, ITAS, which is Italian titration. Um, algorithm of insulin uh, study and uh, as I already mentioned it was performed in order to uh, compare uh, two ways of titration of insulin in uh, insulin naive uh, patients so who never were uh, exposed on insulin before but also in patients without uh, the use of uh, uh, sulfonuria and repaglinide and the primary end point of this particular trial was to uh, see if there is known inferiority between the two uh, titration protocols. Uh, the titration protocol was very easy, it can be seen here. You will see that according to the uh, fasting glucose measured uh, with a glucometer, uh, either the patient or the doctor uh, were uh, uh, asked to increase or eventually reduce the dose of insulin in order to uh, reach uh, a fasting glucose uh, um, in the steady state included between the range between 80 and 110. Uh, so there is no difference at all between the patient managed and the physicians managed uh, uh, titration uh, protocol. As you can see here, uh, mm, the uh, mm, characteristics of the two groups are absolutely similar. Uh, which are the majority of the patients we usually see uh, in our uh, outpatient clinic for diabetes. And as you will see here, uh, this is the main result, the reduction in HB1C. Uh, both groups re reached a very, uh, let's say, some good uh, uh, endpoint in HB1C with uh, no difference at all between the two groups. Uh, and so, uh, for these reasons, the primary endpoint was met with no difference uh, for uh, physician-managed and uh, patient-managed uh, uh, insulin titration. And as you can see here in panel B, uh, you also see that the insulin dose was uh, clearly similar, maybe a little bit higher in the patient-managed, but this was not uh, uh, statistically significant. And uh, uh, some kind of undulation you can see in the um, glucose uh, uh, measured with the uh, physician managed uh, um, group was just because they, uh, this was decided during the visit of the patients. Uh, another, I mean, um, several other uh, important uh, endpoints uh, were studied during this study. Uh, in particular, we tried to see if there were any differences in uh, terms of hypoglycemia and uh, as you can see here whatever you look for uh, either the nocturnal hypoglycemia or the hypoglycemia at any time or uh, the nocturnal hypo hypoglycemia including the time uh, pre-breakfast because you know that uh, uh, maybe you can have breakfast later than 6 a.m. so uh, 7 a.m. is also a still some kind of uh, uh, nocturnal hypoglycemia and you can see there is no difference at all between the patient managed and the physician managed groups. Uh, another important point is that also the number of hypoglycemia uh, either confirmed or even severe were very very low especially if we compare these results with, us, with other uh, trials uh, which compared physician or patient managed uh, uh, titration protocols and I, we uh, think that this very low number of hypoglycemia is mostly due to the fact that our patients uh, were um, uh, without any sulfonyl or repugnite, so uh, without any other cause of hypoglycemia which could interfere as did in other trials in the uh, 
um, titration and in the insulin in the uh, hypoglycemia uh, rate and so uh, to conclude uh, we can confirm that these results demonstrate not only the efficacy but also the uh, uh, safety of large U300 using a patient's uh, versus physician managed dietitian procedure uh, proving uh, the feasibility and convenience of the simple patient managed uh, nurse assisted approach uh, although uh, we always have to remember that to do this, uh, an important point is uh, the educational part of treating our patient. Also, uh, another important point is always to have a reliable uh, glucose meter uh, for, to uh, assist our patients.